Good morning, children. I hope you've had a very nice weekend. And as you know, yesterday was Valentine's Day. So you must have wished all your friends, your family, and everyone who means something to you. But I hope you all also studied. Now, again, I don't want to repeat the same thing. You know, I'm repeating it all the time that I have given you this poem and you cannot say you don't have your books because I've sent you a PDF and it's very easy to read in the PDF. The lamplighter, the poem is not very long. It has got how many? One, two, three. Three stanzas and it's a very simple poem. It's just I, like I told you before about a boy who wants to become a lamp lighter even though his father's a very very rich man but he still wants to become a simple lamp lighter i even explained to you what a lamp lighter was in those days and that we do not have lamp lighters now because everything is so modernized and of course you cannot sit by the window and watch the lights go on i mean because they have a certain time here that when it gets a little dark, then the street lights go on automatically, isn't it? Well, to continue with the lesson, I told you also that please send me on my personal WhatsApp about what you want to be when you grow up. But the best part is that nobody bothered. There were just two or three and just two, three lines. Come on, children, now you are in class five. You have to think a little more. Have you understood? You cannot just, oh, ma'am has told me to do something. So I'll just do it and send it and I'm happy. I told you last time, please concentrate at least for one or two hours in all your subjects. Like class 9 to 12 has reopened. I mean, all the schools, all the children are going. So you don't know children when suddenly you'll have to come to school. You have to be prepared. Another thing, I think your books will be available from another this week or next week so please buy the books please it's very important so let's get back to the lamp lighter now if you look at page 34 34 where the comprehension is i've sent you a pdf of this also so you cannot say that i don't have it now can you see comprehension actually basically it also tells you whether how much you have understood uh, from the lesson because many people might just read it and this and that but no you have to comprehend it is uh, very important that you understand and also follow the lesson and are able to uh, what do you call that um, answer the questions given to you have you understood well the first one that we have is fill in the blanks with words from the poem. Now, there are some blanks you have to fill in. This is very easy. You have your book in front. Other days, we would have told you, we would have written the questions on the board and you would have to learn or read the poem properly to know the answers. But now you don't even, because then I, I mean, you've got your book in front of you, you are just going to copy the words. The first one A is, my T is dash ready and the sun has left the sky it's time to take the window to see leary going by now over here they are saying now where is that line right on top of the poem the first line is that and the word in the blank is can you think in your heads i hope many of you have thought of the answer already well my T is, the answer is nearly, over there you can see, my T is nearly ready and the sun has left the sky. It's time to take the window to see Leary going by. So children, I hope you know the answer. It's right there in the first line. Have you, and the word is, now the, the first word is, a is what? Nearly. 
Have you understood? That is the first word. Now B. Let's come to B. Now Tom would be a driver and Maria go to sea. And my papa is a banker and as, what is it now? A banker and as dash as he can be. Now, what is it? The word B is, now his papa is a banker. Let's look at, it is in the second stanza. And my papa is a banker and as rich as he can be. So the other word is rich. Have you understood? It's rich. Now, let's go to the next one which is what would you say is the main theme of the poem now and i hope you're looking at your books or whatever pdf file now what would you say is the main theme of the poem number a if it's a lamp lighter called leary now or is it someone who likes to look out of the window every night c someone who wonders what to be when he grows up, someone who wants to see a lamplighter go by the street. Now, you, it is up to you. You cannot say like, my opinion might be different, your opinion might be different. And what do you think is the main theme of the uh, poem? Have you understood? Now, is it whether he wants to become? So you have to put, there's a box over there. There's a box over there. You have to... You know whether which one is thing, whichever one you think is the main theme of the poem, you have to do that. Have you understood? That is the thing. Now children, what you have to do is, you will have to go home and then, uh, I'm only doing number one and two. Because, and I want you to, of course I'll write you what your homework is. Have you understood? You will have to get back to me and do number one and two. Very easy and don't forget to do it neatly. Underline the word and write the sentence then tick in the box. You can color the boxes also. It is something very interesting. Have you understood? So anyway, thank you children. Good morning and please do your work. You have to do your work. Mm, uh, there's just one or two I can even next time I'm going to write the names of the children who have done their work and who haven't done their work. Thank you.